we're back with our uh, series into the investigative work that Matt does and our um, investigative team. And this one, we're going to start talking about your uh, most recent series, which airs uh, today mm-hmm. on uh, fentanyl. It's called Overdosed. And right. so you're essentially following a family um, through their journey of you know dealing with addiction. So can you tell us about, about that family? Yeah, sure. Um, it's a typical middle-class family. Um, uh, it's not a family that you would see and say, ah, there's an obvious drug problem in that family. It's, it's hidden. Um, and uh, they live in the Quad Cities. Uh, it's a mom and a daughter who are at the fo- center of the story, and it's really about their journey um, through their daughter's addiction, um, which started uh, uh, middle of last year and has now sort of reached um, a really, really serious point. Yeah, a critical point. Um, and so can you tell us a little bit about the drugs? Um, her name is Tabitha, right? So right. can you tell us about the drugs that Tabitha is using? Sure. Tabitha uh, started off using um, opiate prescription pills, mm-hmm. um, but uh, now she's using uh, a street drug. Um, counterfeit Percocet is essentially what it is, and sometimes that drug can be laced with different things. So I think we can hear from Tabitha if you want to. Yeah. He broke my clavicle and it got pretty bad. I had to have surgery on my clavicle and they gave me oxy and I needed to get something stronger too. Yeah, so some of those medications are sometimes, some of those drugs are sometimes laced with that fentanyl or that cocaine, which is where it really gets dangerous because you don't know what's in that drug. Right, and so um, how did uh, her addiction get out of control? When did it start? Sure, it started, uh, she says, in a relationship with an abusive boyfriend who uh, broke her collarbone, and uh, she sought legitimate treatment for that and was prescribed prescription pills, but, um, uh, you know, eventually the medication ran out and the prescription pills, um, you know, she got hooked on them and didn't know what to do, so she turned to street drugs. I think we can hear from her also here. Yeah, sure, Yeah. yeah. He broke my clavicle and it got pretty bad. I had to have surgery on my clavicle and they gave me oxy and I needed to get something stronger. He broke my... Yeah, it's kind of crazy to hear her talk and right. just just explain the situation she's in. I mean, yeah, what happened. Right. I mean, we're not showing her face here, too. I think that's important to note in the series. Um, um, just because she's been involved in some dangerous drug transactions and there are people who are um, kind of in her sphere who might not be excited about this story. So. Right. Um, we're keeping her identity a secret. Yeah, it makes sense. And so, um, obviously, her family, her mom, is trying to save her from this really just vicious cycle that mm-hmm. addiction is. And so, what are they doing uh, to try to get her out of this? Right. I mean, everything they possibly can. I mean, the story is really um, about Tabitha's addiction, but it's also about one mom's journey to save her daughter's life. And mm-hmm. she's willing to do just about anything it takes. So, Tabitha's been in and out of rehab six or seven times. Um, well, eight now, I think, if you want to count her most recent stint. Um, uh, but uh, she's been in treatment all over the Quad Cities and in other parts of the state. Um, that hasn't worked, and her mom spends the majority of her time during the day trying to navigate a really complicated system of treatment centers, insurance, um, government agencies, that kind of thing. So It's a very complicated process. Yeah. Dealing it, with addiction. It's almost like another job for her. Right. For sure. And so what, what happens next? Where, where, do, where do they go from here? Where does the story go from here? Sure. Um, we're going to follow them each week. Um, so we'll have updates each Thursday. And I think as part of that series, we'll hear from them each week. But we'll also explore in more specifics certain parts of their journey. Mm-hmm. So um, Tabitha was committed at one point involuntarily. So we'll take a look at that commitment process and explain how that works and, mm-hmm. and why it's really a last resort for a lot of families. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll explore some um, um, news about treatment options available in the Quad Cities or a lack thereof. Uh, and we'll continue to follow the family on their journey. Mm-hmm. Well, I think it's interesting is that really um, you are following the family on the journey, and I think that's going to give the Quad Cities a really good look at actually what that journey is like because it, you just told me this morning things have changed already. And so right. taking the QC on the journey I think is going to offer a lot of insight into mm-hmm. how addiction is handled and, right. and really the struggle <laughs> right. can be to get people help. Yeah, and I talk to somebody in the family almost every day now for updates, and uh, the story is really happening in real time. So um, every week, you know, uh, our viewers are learning new information just right along with me. Right, yeah, very 
interesting. Looking forward to hearing more about it. So again, that airs tonight mm -hmm. at what time? Uh, 10. 10. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we'll be looking for that. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, Jenna.